What's up my comic book brothers and my comic book sisters from another mister. Today we're going to do a comic book review of The Scorched, issue number 11, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. Previously on issue 10 of The Scorched, the mysterious K was revealed to be the curse, with a new plan to destroy the forces of both heaven and hell. So this is where we pick up with this story. We see Soul Crusher going to work on this demon in limbo as a test. Spawn abandoned Soul Crusher to Limbo, wanting to know how relentless and how resourceful he was, but most importantly, how ruthless. Joining forces with Spawn can never be as easy as just pledging allegiance to the flag or to the Spawn. Anyways, you get the drift. You have to lose something, and you have to have some valuable collateral. Just like Spawn lost Wanda, his wife, Soul Crusher lost Natasha. Now, Soul Crusher, Sergi grew up with her. He promised to keep her safe no matter how high the stakes got. Now he's been made into a liar. Because Natasha was dead, murdered by medieval spawn on the battlefield when he came for the head of plague spawn. That's dating back into a few issues of the Scorch. I don't know what issue it is, but it's been definitely a few issues back. And her spear emerges from the water. Sergi, it wasn't supposed to end like this. It's not what we dreamed of, what we promised each other. This can't be our final destiny. It won't be, says Sergi. Tell me what happened. Plague wrapped himself around me like a cocoon. The knight wanted the plague dead. He didn't know I was Plague's host. And she shows him a visual of her getting her head decapitated by medieval spawn. And he is enraged. I offer them my aid and this is what they do? They murder you after spawn traps me here? Goodbye, Sergi. And, and now Natasha's spirits leave. Sergi says medieval spawn and he's just like in his own sorrow my honor demands i come to admit my offense against you i see natasha's spirit has visited to show what happened it's regrettable but i must now plead that you put your grief aside follow me out of here and serve the promise you made when you approached us okay look medieval's trying to save his own ass but at the same time the mission has to be done you come here asking for favor says soul crusher though he feels for sergi's loss Medieval understands that in any brutal war, some allies die unintentionally, but a true warrior must fight on. Medieval spawns up to find out what kind of warrior Soul Crusher is. Will he be a real warrior? Or like so many before him, he'll instead let emotions dictate his fate and he goes after Medieval Spawn. Let's throw down time to get down with the get down. Enough, says Medieval Spawn. He tosses him like a rag doll into the water. What did you put in my neck? and we see something light up and it's a bomb. Ironically, Spawn abandoning Soul Crusher in this limbo to fight untold amounts of demons taught Sergi, that's Soul Crusher's real name, how to become a better fighter, like a champion boxer. Sergi learned to take his hits, fighting weaknesses as he suckered his opponents. He had reworked the weapons on him into a bomb the size of his fingers, small enough to hide in his fist, lethal enough to kill. You took her head, I'll take yours, says Soul Crusher. These hell spawns always find a way to survive, so he knows he must strike now, as it may be his only chance for revenge, and his forearm molds into this blade, this symbiote blade. Soul Crusher's blade strikes with rage, rage driven by his own failures. Failures for not helping Natasha and keeping them together. Failures to protect other children abandoned just like him. Damn, this is pretty deep of um, the amount of rage this brother has, but then again, can you understand what the brother? But if he thinks this Hellspawn is willing to die a dishonorable death, he's wrong. What Medieval did to Natasha was tragic, but war is never determined by a single death. And Medieval Spawn takes his blade and cuts off his forearm, the symbiote form that Soul Crusher's blade was on. People die, Crusher, and my part, it is unforgivable. Back off, and he punches him back to the wall. But you must learn to forgive yourself for your failures. Then you move on because another battle, another enemy soon follows. Otherwise, everything we do is in vain. I mean, if you want to fight, then well, let's begin. Let's fight, you know? I was tricked. But before we begin this fight, I just want to let you know, we have a bigger enemy than myself. Natasha is dead. I was tricked. And though my heart aches, all I have left is to stop the monsters that put her in harm's way. So take your grief and channel it. Use it for a greater purpose. Demons crowd to see the commotion. As much as they detest mankind, they'll be damned if they'll bow to a spawn. Soul Crusher knows this, and though his injured forearm has been severed, he can still feel it. 
and communicate to it. I owe you nothing and I'll give you nothing, says Soul Crusher. Then get up and fight. Enough with the bullshit. Let's do this right now, right here, right now. Wallow in your self pity. And then Soul Crusher, wait a minute. What about you? You'll just follow Simmons? There are whispers about how weak he's become. I'm not fighting for Simmons, says Medieval Spawn. I'm protecting Earth. So choose what side you want to be on. Soul Crusher presses his severed forearm into the water, jolting it alive. Sergi's body had been put through the same experiments as the Russians. His body was injected with the Spawn DNA. The symbiote transforming Sergi's arm into a living weapon as he envelops around Medieval Spawn. The question is, is Soul Crusher more of a hybrid than a man? And as this symbiote wraps around Medieval Spawn, he's like, you think I have not seen this before? It's a symbiote, what do you think I'm made out of? But maybe there's another way to hurt him. Soul Crusher goes after Medieval Spawn's sword. Many have made the error that holding the knight's sword is not the same as controlling it. It knows the hand of its master and its true wielder. And any who attempt to wield it soon will find themselves slowly going insane as Soul Crusher is just going to work on these other demons. With screams piercing Soul Crusher's every thought, he tells those voices in his head to shut up. Voices, they're calling you, aren't they, says Medieval Spawn. Is this your magic trying to confuse me? It won't work. I know you're guilty of it. Then do it, says Medieval Spawn. Stop talking and do it. If you're so brave, show me. Strike me dead. Damn you, otherwise stop your hollow threats. I said, kill me, you coward. For a long moment, the two combatants stand silent. The next move will determine the future of their relationship forever. Coward, says Soul Crusher. What has your kind done? Tell me, other than slaughter innocent victims caught in the middle of a war you created, go ahead, justify your actions. Talk yourself into thinking you're the hero. You're from hell. Where you're from, they have never been saviors. You destroy everything, lives, and property everything but now medieval symbiote is wrapping around in Sergi's uh, forearm where the blade was in place of longer than anyone has known medieval spawn has tamed the dark magics though he rarely uses it it drains his powers at too high a rate today he makes an exception so when he sends the severed limb of soul crusher back to the masters it is not an act of kindness it is not a warrior in desperation it is a form of communication he speaks through the body part as it attaches itself to soul crusher showing him the events that actually led to natasha's unfortunate death how plague used her body then tricked medieval's attempt to slay him and how all of them have been ultimately scorched this information, these images, says Soul Crusher. What am I supposed to do with it? Use it. Let it be what drives you. We're both victims and Natasha paid the price for our actions. Let us avenge her, says Medieval Spawn. Join me. Join us. We are not your enemy. I don't know who my enemies are. Not anymore. This world, us humans, we need to rise up against all of you. None of you belong here, but I'll figure that out later. For now, take your damn sword, says Sergi. Then, We'll fight side by side for now. Defend the honor of the short life Natasha lived, said Medieval Spawn. When the task is complete, you could turn whatever anger you have left back on me. Hmm, says Soul Crush. It's tempting, but let's just find a way out of here. I'll deal with the future when it comes. So yes, I'll fight. Fight with you. I'll fight with you. After that, I can't make any promises. Fair enough, says Medieval. Now let's go hunt these bastards down. As they leave, the eyes of more than demons gaze upon them, and it's the green eyes of Spawn, the one who put these both of them in limbo. Let's see if both of you are worth all this trouble, says Spawn. The real war is about to begin, and that's where we end this issue of The Scorched, issue number 11. You know, I think this book is starting to come together slowly but surely for uh, me personally when I read this issue of The Scorched. I mean, I like Spawn, I really do, and I wanted to give it a chance. It, it felt like it took a while for it to get its bearings, but now that it's coming together, obviously this was a filler issue, but you cannot deny Soul Crusher and, and Medieval Spawn duking it out in limbo. That was was pretty gangster i thought but it pushed the story forward now that they finally put their differences aside for now to fight the greater evil let's get into the ribeye the meat potatoes of this story and i'm looking forward to the next issue link in the description if you wish to add this comic book to your comic book collection with all that being said the scorched issue number 11 what you guys think of the comic book comment below let me know and also if you like the content we're throwing up 
You know what to do. Don't be shy. Don't be stingy. Here at Rated Comics, we do awesome comic book reviews, comic book related content with the occasional comic book giveaway. Also, not to mention that this review is sponsored by coffee. So if you'd like to buy your boy a cup of coffee, link in the description. But the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking the video and subscribing to this channel. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.